You're listening to today's inspirational message on pursuing God with Gene Apple. Here's Gene. Hey, thanks for joining me for day number 13 of 21 Days of Prayer. And uh, there's one more dangerous prayer that I want to look at uh, today, and it's another two-word prayer. We've been looking at these two words prayer, and this prayer is simply, use me. And when you pray this prayer, you're praying, God, I'm making myself available to you to, to touch a life through me, to meet a need through me, to heal a hurt through me, to strengthen a church through me. I, I'm making my life available for you to work through me. I think a man named Isaiah prayed the ultimate use me prayer. He, he prayed to God in Isaiah 6, 8. He said, here I am, send me. Friends, that's not a prayer for the spiritually faint of heart. That's a prayer only for those who are willing to go on an adventure with God. Now, I've observed something about many of you. More than a few of you are willing to go on all kinds of extremes to find the ultimate rush in life, right? I mean, some of you, you jump out of airplanes. Some of you climb mountains. Some of you race motorcycles. Some of you bungee jump. Some of you drink Mountain Dew. But I'm here to tell you that the ultimate rush in life is a spiritual rush when you have the sense that the God of the universe is using you. I had a man tell me once that he continued to go to several different support groups and he felt like he would for the rest of his life, not so much because he needs them all the time, but because he senses God using him to touch other lives when he goes. It, it's a spiritual rush. I know another man who's built a successful business over the years and honestly, he's made a fortune. He, he's taking care of his family. And these days, just making another dollar doesn't really give him satisfaction that it used to. But do you know why he continues to work hard when most guys his age are playing golf in Palm Springs? Because he's doing it for God. He literally is spending the rest of his life making money in order to give it away. And he would tell you, the most satisfaction I have is the sense that God is using me. It's a spiritual rush. Friends, the Bible teaches that God scans the planet, kind of like a radar wand, and he's looking. And when he sees people who need a touch, when he sees lives that need help, when he sees people in confusion, when he sees ailments in society, he goes to the radar wand going like this back and forth, and he looks for someone to send up the use me signal. And then he hooks that person up with the person in need. And then their need gets met. And the person meeting the need who prayed the use me prayer walks away feeling like they did something important because they were used by the God of the universe. That's powerful. Friends, these are dangerous prayers that we've looked at over the past few days. Prayers that, you know, probably need to be handled with caution. And there's an element of risk in every one of these prayers. There's some possible chaos. There's some adversity. There might be some pain. It might lead to some downward mobility. But those who have the courage to pray, search me, O God, or pray, break me, or stretch me, or lead me, or use me, are in for an adventure that most people miss out on. God, I thank you for these dangerous prayers and the prayer that I want to pray for myself today, the prayer, prayer that I want to pray for the person who's listening to me right now is this prayer, use me. God, you've put gifts inside of us. You've put experiences and life experiences that uniquely wire us to meet the certain needs of other people that can only be met by somebody like us with the gifts we have through the experiences that we've had. So God, open our eyes, use us, we pray, for your glory, and may we point people to Jesus. Thank you for the privilege of being used by you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hope it's a good weekend for you. Catch you tomorrow.